Uh, people are very skeptical uh, by the uh, by the, the list because this is not the first ceasefire. This is not the first proposal from Moscow, and we have seen and they, the very population experienced in the past days uh, some truce which just last which just lasted a few hours, and it looks like the military, uh, the Russian military, is using very cynically, I will say, uh, this truce and this uh, humanitarian corridors to expose the population who is trying to flee and to shoot or to bombard them. This is what happened twice already since the start of the invasion. So nobody really believes or nobody, I will say, is waiting for this truce or this humanitarian corridors to escape. We spent um, half day yesterday with George Yazbek in the new front line, 20 kilometers away from the the center where we're standing now of Kiev in Erpin and uh, Bucha, which are, which are very frontline key strategic positions. And we have been seeing uh, hundreds of families uh, totally exhausted after, after hours of uh, walking and escaping, rushing uh, out of Irpin, trying to get a shelter in, in, uh, in Kiev. So this is the reality. I don't believe, honestly, this is going to change uh, many things. And um, According to military uh, uh, experts, we did exper experience already some this kind of strategy of, of, of uh, offering truce in Chechnya or in Syria. This is just a very cynical strategy from Moscow to harass the population and not to give the population any way of resisting, but just to escape. Sierra Payan, they're reporting from Kiev.